the longest building and the shortest street in the world, the largest park in Europe and the deepest metro station in the world, cities with unique structures and patriotic urban community, the oldest European market and the second tallest statue in Europe, the city of Sakura and the longest lime alley in Europe, fortress cities and museum towns, geographic center of Europe, interesting facts, amazing names and unique charm. All this is not somewhere abroad, rather Ukrainian cities and towns. Therefore, let us learn more about these interesting facts. Today our weekend city is Lutsk. One can get to the ancient Luchesk, as it was called in old days, either by bus or by train, and of course by car. The distance between Kiev and Lutsk is almost 400 kilometers, six hours on the road, and this city will be true discovery for you. Lutsk is located on the banks of the Ister River in the southeastern part of Volyn. 217,000 local residents consider this their home. This is one of the largest cities in western Ukraine. So now let's go on a new and unforgettable experience. Head into Lutsk, we go through three oblasts, Kiev, Zhitomir and Rivne, and finally we reach our destination. As everywhere in our travels, we are already welcomed by very hospitable people who live in this wonderful ancient city. Welcome to Lutsk! We are welcomed by the last capital of the Principality of Galicia Volinia, one of the Kievan Rus' successor states, the southern capital of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, and the Little Rome of the East, Lutsk. Although Lutsk is an ancient city, it is also quite a modern Western European city. The name of the city of Lutsk may originate from the name of its founder, the Dulibik chieftain Luka. According to another theory, the name of the city comes from the tribe of the Luchans, which in turn originated from the same Dulibic chieftain Luka. The oldest settlement of the Luchans occupied only a small triangular cape between the rivers Stir and Mali Hlushets, where the Lutsk castle stands now. In ancient times of Rus, there was a mound site here. Later, a huge fortress was built on this site. So let's feel the spirit of this ancient city and begin our acquaintance with the silent witnesses of all historical events, the main symbol of Lutsk's grandeur and power and Lubart's castle. One of the few medieval castles in Ukraine, which has survived to this day, is considered one of the five most beautiful fortifications in the country. As we approach the castle, we can hear Lutsk town crier trumpeting from the top of the entrance tower. Standing guard On weekends and holidays, the trumpeter climbs up the tower twice, so if you were late to hear him at 12 p.m., then come to the castle at 6 p.m. and listen to his horn. For us, it's a good sign, as our arrival was announced by the town trumpeter, meaning that he was expecting us. So welcome to our Lutsk castle. For several centuries, Lubart's castle was a mighty fortress, never captured by enemy troops throughout its entire history, which dates back more than 600 years. These walls survived many different attacks and protected the Lutsk residents from invaders. Today, this is a favorite place of leisure and relaxation for the local residents and visitors of the city. Indeed, there are constantly huge crowds of people here. The city view from the old wall is picturesque. Those who wish can get to the top of the entrance castle, tower climbing up to 27 meters on 112 steps. You can also visit the unique Museum of Bells. This is the only exposition of this type in Ukraine. Here you can see a collection of more than 90 different bells that were made between the 17th to early 20th centuries. After we had the pleasure to see these bells, we were fortunate enough to be witnesses of a genuine professional photo shoot. After all, the castle is a place that inspires creative people.
еще разик. Еще, еще, еще. Дочка, вот здесь, вот где вот эти палочки, вот тут подпрыгивай. Хорошо? Давай. Три, четыре. Очень хорошо. Мы любим наш город. We love our city. Lutsk is a great place for good emotions and meeting new people. For good shots, for good impressions. Come to us. We're definitely waiting for you to enjoy the attractions of our city. Lutsk is an old city and a modern city at the same time. There is something to see here for everyone. Therefore, we cordially invite you to our native city to see for yourself. If you have already looked around the castle and decided that you have already seen everything, then you are mistaken, as there is another interesting object on the castle's territory, which is worth seeing. At the castle wall, you can see the manor, where the expositions of the art museum are located. This is the former house of the district chancery and gentry courts, built in 1789 on the ruins of the princely palace of the Lutsk castle. You can hear the music resounding from there. It's a sound of an old piano played for all connoisseurs of pictorial art. So now let's visit this famous art museum as well. So what can the visitor who enters the halls of our museum see? These are beautiful works of the pictorial art gallery from the collection of magnates Radzewil, who lived in the village of Olika near Lutsk. Our museum has six exhibition halls. In two of them, there are different exhibition projects. The first hall presents the best examples of pictorial art of the 16th and 17th centuries. The work of the Spanish artist José de Ribera, Saint Jerome, which dates back to 1644, is the gem of the Lutsk Art Museum. The museum workers are proud that this piece of art created by a talented master of painting is displayed in their museum. I am sure that the works of this artist are the pride of the best museums in the world. Among them is the Prado Museum, the Louvre Museum, and in Ukraine, the Hanenko Family Museum. It is a pride that the Lutsk Art Museum is also on this list. There are many rare exhibits in the halls of the Lutsk Art Museum. It exhibits paintings of various styles that introduce visitors to the museum with the main artistic genres and styles. In late 2013, we presented an updated exposition of our museum. When the question came up how the inside of the museum should look, we all came to the conclusion that our museum should resemble the salon of the Prince's Palace. Внутрішнє наповнення нашого музею, ми всі одностайно прийшли до думки, що наш After all, the room in which we are now standing was built on the foundation of the Princess Palace, which once was on the territory of the Lubart Castle. Here in this hall, we hold chamber concerts, we hold poetry readings and various theatrical events. Знаходився на території замку Люберта. І ось в у цій залі в нас відбуваються камерні концерти, в нас відбуваються тут читання поезій, в нас відбуваються такі невеличкі театральні імпрези. That is, the visitor of the museum can live the life that princes, kings and representatives of the Ukrainian gentry lived. After all, the interior of our museum reminds us of the prince's palace. Представники української шляхти, адже інтер'єр нашого музею нагадує нам княжий палац. І ось ці залі. Here in this hall you can hear the music. When visitors come to our museum, our employee happily performs various classical music compositions. Охоче виконує різноманітні класичні твори. Now that we've seen a number of historical sites, it's probably time to rest and have lunch. Right next to the castle you can savor the dishes that were on the menu of feasts of princes and members of the nobility in Lutsk. Moreover, to this very day, they're prepared according to the ancient recipe that was created by the royal chef. 
Lutsk is not only a city of history, but also a city of culinary history. Lutsk banqueted crown-bearing guests as early as in the 15th century. In 1429, Lutsk hosted the famous Congress of European Monarchs, which amazed all of Europe with this lavish banquet. Every day, the guests consumed 1,400 rams, 700 oxen, 500 barrels of mead, and an ample serving of poultry. In memory of that glorious banquet, we have been carefully reconstructing and restoring the old Lutsk recipes for over 20 years, applying them to modern culinary realities. Today we will taste two dishes prepared according to ancient recipes. The first ones are crayfish, catfish, pike and Svidia's eel fish soup, which is cooked according to the original recipe of the Radziwill Olika Castle chef, recorded in 1686. Back in those years, these soups were called potage. So here's the recipe itself. Meat potage. The more different sorts of meat it has, the tastier it is. And the same goes when it comes to fish. Good potage for 8 people requires cooking at least 6 pounds of fish. First boil some roots, then add white English pepper, a few Greek leaves, and put 3 pounds of fish in the potage, catfish and pike. Boil for an hour until it becomes completely soft. Then filter and put another 3 pounds of fish into the potage. Add an anil and crayfish. Add Hungarian pepper, salt and vodka. Then take it off the fire and add some fresh greens from the garden. And voila! The dish is ready and tasty. Here you can taste another dish that was cooked in princely times pork ribs glazed in buckwheat honey, which are stewed for 12 hours in the oven at a low temperature, then roasted until they're crisp and finally treated with apricot smoke. Such tasty delicacies are served with spicy cabbage and pickled plums. The aroma of apricot smoke is everywhere, believe me, you will not regret trying this culinary delicacy. Lutsk may seem like a quiet place, but life is in full swing here. There's a flurry of activity, and everything you will see is very interesting. For example, students and young people are very interested in visiting the old city. And by doing that, they discover the architectural sites on a daily basis. Every time I come to Lutsk, rain or shine, I found something new for myself, and I really like it here. My advice to every Ukrainian and foreigner is come to Lutsk. You will not regret your visit. As we have already said, in the Middle Ages, Lutsk was called the small Rome of the East, and for several reasons. After all, once the city was full of temples belonging to different peoples living in Lutsk and different churches and religions peacefully coexisted here. Unfortunately, most of these temples did not stand the test of time. They were destroyed or demolished, but we can still see one of the oldest temples, the main Catholic church, the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral. It was built as a church on the territory of the Jesuit monastery, and from the end of the 18th century, Century, it became a main temple of the Roman Catholic community of Volin. Initially, it was planned as a small temple. Later, the church was designed by the famous architect, Jesuit monk Giacomo Briano, who could not be present all the time during the construction of the temple, but still observed the process in absentia. Of course, as in any temple of that time, there is also a dungeon here. However, it has not been explored on a regular basis, though we know that one of the larger rooms was occupied by the underground church, the so-called crypt. Entrance to the dungeon from the temple is not fully organized yet, but you can get inside from the street. The temple remains a pearl in the shell. We can see from above, but in order to delve into these secrets, which are plenty and undiscovered, we need time. For example, most of the pieces of art inside the temple were not identified. Identified. Now this process continues. While we plan to restore the valuable historic site, major funding is required to complete this project. 
Пробуємо в якийсь спосіб з реставрацією, тому що це великі кошти. The greatness and beauty of the temple is multiplied by the sounds of the organ that is played during worship in this old church. Its walls are decorated with sculptures of the heavenly patrons of the church, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, who have been protecting this shrine for more than four centuries. Запрошуємо всіх сердечно до Луцька відвідати костел святих апостолів Петра і Павла. We cordially invite everyone to Lutsk, to the Church of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul. Everybody finds something special in this shrine. For an architect, this will be the style of this temple. For a historian, this will be the story of all those personalities who have visited this temple over several centuries. For a believer, this is the meeting place with God. Walking along the streets of the old city, you will definitely feel the breath of the past. But Lutsk is a city where the past and modernity are closely intertwined. The modern city is interesting as well. Spacious streets, new houses and public parks and gardens, where locals and guests of the city enjoy taking a stroll. In the very heart of the city, you can find a completely different world of peace and comfort. A quaint, peaceful and quiet small riverbank, where adults and children like to rest. Here everyone can find an occupation for themselves. Football tennis, skating or biking, or you can just sit on a bench and read your favorite book. A sort of a nice lit of a calm and good mood in a bustling city. Of course, for those who love a more dynamic pace of life and who still have the energy and desire to go dancing in the evening, there are popular nightclubs in Lutsk. The city has many different entertainment places where you can have a fun evening and relax with your family and friends. As we can see, the youth finds this place fun and exciting. As for us, charged up with a good mood and positive emotions, we go to the hotel. Of course, if you do not have a desire to hit the sack, then you can go for a walk through the city in the evening. Today Lutz presented us with a pleasant experience. Tomorrow we will continue to get acquainted with the ancient, mysterious and modern city. Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell the whole world about them. May each journey to Ukrainian cities be a bright and unforgettable experience for you.